All right, Joe Bruin here with AllAccessEntertainment.com, here with the legendary Tony Todd here at Mohegan Sun Casino. It's Terrificon. Thank you for taking the time, Tony. My pleasure. And I don't even know how to spell legendary, but if you say so, I humbly accept it. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, you've done over 100, easily 100 uh, television movies, films, whatever it may be, voiceover acting. Um, what are some of your favorite memories as far as the films go? Um, well, as far as films go, I'll never forget The Tomb, which is Oliver Stone's four-time four Academy Award-winning film. It was my first project, uh, film project. I'll never forget it. Everybody in the cast went on to various different careers. There's actually a documentary that's in the works that's going to be done where we catch up with everybody, find out what their experiences were working in the Philippines, working for Oliver, working with each other. So that's coming soon. But I discovered acting when I was in high school. You may or may not know I'm from the New England area. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. in Hartford, Connecticut. So this coming back is like getting closer to ground zero for me. It's yeah. like revitalization. This is the first time where Zoom, the character I played on CW The Flash last season, is actually the number one seller. And for me, that's, I actually like that because it's usually Candyman, 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 which right. I'm proud of as well. Oh, but sure. It's nice to see a transition and a, and a continuation. And speaking of Zoom, you know, how has it been having a, uh, a voiceover role in such a major show? Thank you. Thank you. People are always well. I appreciate that. You see that? Back back to Connecticut. That's what I'm talking um, about. The voiceover work started with Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. I mean, I have two kids. When they were young, I tried my best to get into a Disney film. Because I had to watch Beauty and the Beast and sure. Little Mermaid, I don't know, a hundred times easily. Yeah. And I finally got Revenge of the Fallen. And I called my daughter. I said, guess what? I got a voiceover. She says, yep. Dad, when are you going to grow up? <laughs> so the answer is never. If you love what you do, you know, you only grow wiser. And you grow exponentially. You don't have to grow up. You can stay childlike. I had a long conversation with Neil Adams about an hour ago. He was one of my childhood inspirations. Oh, yeah. I actually got, here's my comic book. Can I have it? I actually got to uh, talk to him because when I was a kid, I grew up a single kid and I used to read comic books in my temple. They were my skip. Sure. I used to read, as every kid did. Absolutely. I used to read them, do different voices, try to create the differentiations between, between, between hero and villain. Now, this is a classic, classic edition of Greg Issue and the man there, Neil Adams. I mean, you know, I'm a geek just like everybody else. Sure. I grew up on Kirby, Ditko, Batman, of course. I got to meet Michael Keaton. I got to meet Adam West. You know, so my, my career has taken me to many different corners. Uh, as you said, I've done over 100 films. Currently, I'm doing this new show called Dead of Summer on the Freeform channel. Okay. It's actually building a lot of buzz. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Right. And where can fans follow you on social media? Social media, they can follow me on Twitter, which I'm very, very active and hands-on on. It's at Tony Todd 54 Tony Todd, this is this little gentleman here. He cross eyes, do rescues cats, works with gangs, do intervention work, social stuff. I mean, one of the responsibilities that comes with celebrity is to try to give back. Sure. So I'm very active with that. I go to different cities, I try to counsel you know, as best I can. And let kids know, I mean, I didn't grow up necessarily in a ghetto, but I grew up definitely lower middle class. And, uh, and I want people to know that anybody, anywhere, no matter what race or background, can achieve whatever their dream is. You know? If you want to escape, there's a way to escape. You have to use your mind. You have to figure out what your God-given talent is, and then you have to use it. Don't lose it. And try not to be distracted by the perils of the world. And that's a great attitude to have, especially, you know, somebody on your level uh, being able to give back and help, like you said. I mean, that's, that's a big deal, and well, it means a lot. You know, I was a Boy Scout, and I was a Boy Scout, I remember, in Connecticut, and uh, 450, and I, remember I was the one, one of two selected from the Connecticut area to go to the World Jammerie in 1974. First plane trip ever, I was on a plane heading to Tokyo. And that sort of opened my mind, oh my God, there's a plane that can take you places? Right. You know, I already knew that in my imagination because I was just like Green Lantern. I could like make anything happen, but to actually physically do it, 
And then when I first got my first film, to physically get it, and everything else sort of snowballs from there. But with, with opportunity like that comes great responsibility. So anytime I can counsel people or let people know that you're not alone, <laughs> and that the world is your oyster, and anything you can dream, you can achieve. Well, it's a great positive attitude, and I thank you for taking the time, allaccessentertainment.com. Absolutely. It's my pleasure always, and uh, thank you for again for being here for thank the fans. You. Awesome. Is That's there a shout out I can give you for your. Um... Um, it's allaccessentertainment.com. All right. Hey, everybody, it's Tony Todd. All right. Check out allaccessentertainment.com. You won't be disappointed. And keep dreaming.